Hello, welcome to lesson 4 of Introduction to Rapid Application Development using SQL Server and ESP.NET Maker. I am Benjamin Fadino. In this lesson 4, we are going to learn how to assign column names to the columns that make up the first table in our database. First of all, as usual, we we'll make sure that our SQL Server service is running. So the service, the instance that we are using, if Ukonlua is not running, so we'll start it. Okay, now that I've got the SQL Server instance running, the next thing that we are going to do is that we will connect to SQL Server. I'm going to connect using Windows Authentication. Okay, now that I've successfully connected to the SQL Server instance called Impopoloa. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I expand the databases folder and I expand Muik Bank DB. And I'm going to create a new table under Moik Bank DB. How do I create a new table? I right click on Tables folder and I say New Table. Now, the first table we are going to create in our database is going to be made up of two columns. The first table we will create in our database will be made up of two columns. The columns are account type ID and account type name. So I type account type ID. Account type name. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to save this table. How do I save this table? To save this table, I'll go to File. I click on Save Table 1. And I'm going to assign a name to my table. I'm going to give this new table a name of account types. So I'm going to replace table underscore 1 with account types in the dialog box. After that, I'll click OK. In the next tutorial, we shall learn how to assign data types to the columns in our table. Thank you.